Okay, let's continue with the functionalities. Uh, now we will discuss about classification and prediction. Classification is a process of finding a model or a function. It describes and distinguishes data classes or concepts. It will predict the class of objects whose class label is unknown. Uh, but this is based on a known label uh, case that is labeled data um, is considered here. We know uh, to what classes we have to classify. For example, class A, class B or class C like that or we can label it as uh, 1, 2, 3 etc. But we don't know uh, the new uh, set of data. Uh, is belongs to whether class A, class B, class C. So that is the case. Uh, we have to predict the class of objects whose class label is unknown. For that we are using classification model. So it is a derived model based on the analysis of a set of training data. We have to train a set of data and we have to develop a model and based on that model we are classifying the new set of data. So it will predict categorical labels uh, or it can be discrete or unordered labels. Uh, we will see the example in the coming slides. Uh, for uh, the representation of the derived model we can use different forms. Uh, for example we can use classification rules uh, using if then uh, and or we can use decision trees or uh, we can go for mathematical formulae uh, otherwise we can go for neural networks. Some of the methods uh, involving this uh, kind of representations are navigation classification, support vector machines or care nearest neighbor classification. This uh, figure is an example for classification model model uh, which are in three forms first one a uh, represent a rule based model uh, using if then rules then b uh, is a decision tree uh, form and uh, the c is in neural network form uh, all the three are uh, used to represent the same classification model uh, i will explain the first one a uh, using the rules uh, here we have age, uh, income um, as the two uh, different subjects or predicates. Uh, we are seeing whether the uh, X that is the new customer uh, here uh, is youth and uh, his income is high. That is we are checking two conditions uh, whether the customer is youth and high. We can classify that customer into class A. Uh, that is happening in the first uh, case and we are checking another uh, condition that is if the customer uh, age is youth and uh, his income is his or her income is low then it is classified into class B uh, and if the customer is uh, middle aged then uh, the customer is classified into class C. And if the uh, customer is senior, then also we are classifying that customer into class C. So we have three class labels here that are A, B and C. And based on these rules, we are classifying the customers into particular classes that are A, B or C. So uh, this is an example uh, in a banking system. Uh, for example, whether that, that customer has to uh, provide a loan amount uh, and based on the class of that customer, uh, they can fix the loan amount. Uh, so that is the uh, case here. So we are checking uh, certain conditions and uh, we are forming some rules. So we can represent the uh, classification rules like this using if then rules. Or we can represent it uh, the same um, model uh, in the form of a decision tree. Here we are checking the condition first we are checking the age. If the age uh, comes uh, between 
um, something like uh, 20 to 40. We can say uh, a youth uh, and 40 to 50 or 60 we can say middle aged and uh, the above age comes under senior category. So uh, if the age is uh, youth, uh, we are checking another condition that is whether his income is high or low. So when the income is high, we can classify that into class A. Or uh, if the income is low, we can classify uh, that uh, particular customer into class B. And if the age is high uh, or uh, the age is in middle-aged uh, condition or senior, we can classify that uh, customer into class C. So that is the uh, decision tree model. So uh, these are the models we are building and based on this model, uh, we uh, will predict when a new customer arrives to the bank, whether he belongs to class A, class B or class C. And uh, this is the case of a neural network. We have two uh, neural networks here that are age and income. And based on certain, uh, certain conditions, we are forming uh, all these uh, neurons into uh, the class A, class B and class C. So uh, you just understand this is a neural network model, uh, but we are not going into the details about a, a neural network, it's an um, entirely different uh, area. Uh, we have to know what is a neuron and what is a function um, like that. But you just uh, try to understand how we can represent a classification model using neural network. So these are the examples for a classification model. And the decision tree, uh, we are again uh, explaining the decision tree is a flowchart like tree structure. Each node denotes a test on an attribute value. Each branch represents an outcome of the test. Tree leaves represent classes or class descriptions. Decision trees can easily be converted to classification rules. Neural networks uh, is a collection of neuron-like processing units with weighted connections between the units. You can uh, mention the points uh, while you are explaining the example we discussed in the previous slide. Then prediction. Uh, we have uh, seen what is the classification uh, and uh, there is a, some uh, slightly different uh, uh, concept that is prediction. Uh, classification and prediction are similar but uh, it is different. So what is a prediction model? A prediction is used to predict missing or unavailable numerical data values rather than class labels. Here we are uh, predicting numerical data values. For, the, uh, for example, it is a continuous type value, continuous value functions. So um, uh, the classification model is used uh, in the previous example uh, for a bank, whether that customer belongs to class A, class B or class C. And the prediction model, for example, can be used to predict how uh, much amount a person uh, can be given as a loan. For example, that person um, can be provided with a uh, 2 lakh um, rupees as a loan or uh, based on the prediction model, we can decide whether that person um, can be provided 10 lakhs. So that is a continuous valued function. So we can predict the numerical data values here. So normally used for numerical prediction. Uh, it is used to identify distribution trends based on the available data. Uh, for uh, prediction, we are using regression analysis, which is a purely statistical method uh, that can be used for predicting a numerical uh, value. So it is a statistical methodology often used for numerical prediction. Next one is cluster analysis. So um, again we are uh, classifying uh, into another um, type that is clusters. Um, 
In the previous section, we have covered uh, two types that are classification and prediction models. In classification, I told you that it is a uh, supervised learning technique. Uh, we know the class labels and uh, based on the um, new data set, we have to decide which uh, class label uh, that particular customer has to be belong to. So uh, that is the case of classification. But cluster analysis, data objects without consulting a known class label. Here we don't have a labeled data or la la we don't have class labels. Uh, that is class labels are not present in the training data at the beginning. We don't know uh, in the beginning uh, what are the classes like class A, class B, class C. We don't know uh, what are the classes we have. Clustering can be used to generate such class labels. Actually, after doing the clustering, we can uh, label it or we can give a class name uh, that is happening in the clustering. Uh, method used is the objects are clustered or grouped based on the principle of um, maximizing the inter intra class similarity and minimizing the inter class similarity. This is the principle behind clustering. We have to maximize the intra class similarity and we have to minimize the inter class similarity. Each cluster can be viewed as a class of objects from which roles can be derived. And uh, we are forming uh, cluster 1, cluster 2, like that, and uh, uh, from which we can derive roles. Application example is taxonomy formation, uh, an organization of observations into hierarchy of classes that group similar events together. So this is a um, practical example for the clustering and uh, we will example. Uh, here we have different data sets uh, and we are uh, maximizing the uh, intra-class similarity uh, and minimizing the inter-class similarity. Then we are forming particular clusters. So we, uh, in this particular figure we have um, three clusters formed uh, based on the nature of the data set and uh, the middle part is marked as plus uh, the each cluster uh, that is known as the cluster center and we can label it uh, like cluster 1, 2, 3 or we can label it as class A, class B, class C like that. Next one is outlier analysis. Outliers, uh, uh, we will see what are outliers. Data objects that do not comply with the general behavior or model of the data. Uh, most data mining methods discard outliers as noise or exceptions. We have seen some outliers in the previous figure uh, that uh, the data sets uh, that are coming out of these clusters that uh, data can be known as can be called as outliers. So most data mining methods will discard outliers as noise or exceptions. Outlier analysis, uh, the analysis of outlier data. Sometimes we will be um, interested in such outlier data uh, and if we want to analyze such data we can uh, go for outlier analysis or outlier mining. Uh, different methods can be used for outlier analysis which includes statistical test, distance measures or uh, deviation based methods. Uh, an application example uh, for the outlier analysis is fraud detection. Here rare events are more interesting than others. Uh, for example, for a banking system, we can uh, see the uh, transaction types. Uh, if we see a transaction uh, which is not uh, uh, of type normal, that is, uh, we have uh, usually transactions between 5,000 and 50,000 in a particular account, but uh, suddenly um, you know, a huge amount has been withdrawn from an account and it is from a different location. So that can be a fraudulent action. So that can be identified using this outlier analysis. So this is a case of uh, fraud detection 
uh, we can uh, use the outlier analysis and we have seen the same um, example um, in the cluster analysis and uh, we can um, we can uh, draw the same figure here and you can say the outer part of the cluster uh, are considered as outliers. Next one is evolution analysis. It describes and models regularities or trends for objects whose behavior changes over time. Okay, when uh, the behavior um, of the objects changes over time, we can go for a model uh, that is called as evolution analysis. Uh, it will be a, an interdisciplinary one, um, may include characterization, discrimination, association and correlation analysis, classification, prediction or clustering of time um, related data. So uh, all these techniques will be coming under evolution. Specifically include time series data analysis, sequence of periodically pattern matching, uh, similarity based data analysis. Uh, one uh, application example is stock market uh, data analysis to predict future trends. Mm, it is a time series uh, data set. Uh, we can do uh, the stock market analysis to predict future trends. It is considered as an uh, evolutionary analysis. Thank you.